the front lines of the fight against ISIS. The U.S. and the coalition stepping up aerial attacks against the terror group in the Middle East. But stopping the flood of fighters joining ISIS is much more complex. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz reports from Jordan. Terrorists have flooded into Syria and Iraq from around the world, including just across the Jordan-Iraq border, where ISIS flourishes. And driving along the border, we saw Jordanian tanks and forces deployed as fears grow that ISIS fighters could bring the battle to Jordan. After that shocking execution of the Jordanian pilot burned alive, much of the Arab and Muslim world rallied against ISIS. But that execution and the coalition airstrikes have also galvanized legions of ISIS supporters. Young men like those we met outside a mosque are also inspired to fight. What is that that motivates you to want to go into Syria and fight? Syrians are our brothers, and uh, when you see how they are being killed, you just have the motivation to go and fight. Many of those who answered the call to jihad from Jordan have been encouraged by this man, Abu Sayyaf, a well-known radical cleric previously imprisoned for leading anti-government protests. He said ISIS made a mistake by burning the pilot alive, but defended sending extremist fighters to Syria. This is for the sake of God that we went to fight in Syria. A fight, he said, that men and women are willing to face prison for or death. Martha Raditz, ABC News, Amman, Jordan.